As we see now, we're going to go live to Ashley Brewer. She is more outside TD Ameritrade Park on tonight's game. Good evening, Ashley. Yes, Jason, I guess a national title will just have to wait another day for the Arizona Wildcats as they fell 5-4 to Coastal Carolina, and our offense could not get anything off of Mike Morrison. That curveball, that breaking ball, Arizona's offense wasn't getting anything off of him besides those two runs, and runners actually, there were one for 12 with runners in scoring position tonight. One thing we always talk about is the game will deserve the team. The team that deserves to win usually will. And in that case, it was Coastal. They were a little bit better uh, with runners on base tonight um, and wiggled out of some jams. You got to credit uh, Morrison and Holmes for uh, really pitching well when they needed to. The mindset going into tomorrow? I'm just really thinking about the first pitch. Um, like Coach said, uh, just dusted off and, you know, he gave us 30 seconds to get it off our shoulders and just focus on the first pitch tomorrow. Well, speaking of the first pitch tomorrow, I asked Jay Johnson which pitcher would take the mound at TD Ameritrade Park for game three. He said he's keeping all options open. It could be Bobby Delbeck. It could even be Nathan Bannister, who's been out with a forearm injury. So we'll see five o'clock game time in Tucson. We'll see here at TD Ameritrade Park. We'll be here. Ashley Brewer reporting in Omaha. Back to you. All right, Ashley. Yeah, one more day there. As she said, the Wildcats are going to rematch tomorrow with the Shants at five o'clock. Uh, the Wildcats are six and O in elimination games. So the U of A has been playing its best baseball when it's needed to. And as Ashley said, we could see Bobby Dalback on three days rest. Maybe Nathan Bannister. Those could be the two best options as starting pitchers. Guy.